Hello again and welcome back to Legally Cited. This is BGFH and I'm back for another video. This time we're looking at, it's not early access and it's not really a full spotlight video, um, but we're looking at the Doom open beta right now. And this is only a multiplayer beta. Sadly, no single player stuff. We gotta wait, for, wait until May 13th for the whole game to drop. But, um... We do have an open beta. Um, I did poke around a tiny bit with the alpha. Wasn't able to get into the closed beta due to some technical issues, the game just locking up on me. Um, but we are good now for the um, open beta. And we're just gonna go into a match. I'm gonna try to do, unfortunately we only have t a couple of maps and a couple of game types. It's a beta, it's to be expected. Um, but we're just going to try to jump right in and then I'll go through some of the menu stuff and uh, upgrades and all that kind of jazz later um, after maybe our first match. So let's go into one. Let's see if we can find... Now we have Team Deathmatch and Warpath, which is kind of basically it's like King of the Hill. Basically an, an area of the map will have like the circular thingy on it and you have to try to defend it to earn points for your team. So everything is team based, which is sort of unfortunate. Um, for me personally, just because I'm more, much more of the, like, if it moves, shoot it kind of a thing. And that's partly just A, that's my preferred game style. But B, with a vision impairment, like I said, I don't want to be the guy that's known as like, oh, hey, you know, you're the stupid team killer. Uh, if you are, you know, if you don't have friendly fire turned on or whatever. Um, you know, because what happens is, is like, I have to take that extra nanosecond or, or three to determine, hey, is this a friend? Is it an enemy? And, you know, by that time, I could be dead. <laughs> so it just, it basically, I like it where it's like, Everyone, free for all, everyone against everyone. Um, but let's just see what we can get into, see if we can. And I'm going to look at my loadout. It's going to be a shotgun. I'll explain this a little later. Um, waiting for. I tried this mode once before, um, just to make sure the game worked. And I got in no problem, but now I'm not getting anyone to go into this mode with me. Um, took me five, ten seconds tops before. So we're just basically trying to find a game right now. Um, kind of like Fear, if you watched that video or played that game. You can choose different loadouts. So you can have more of an assault, more of a sniper. Um, I forget what I just chose for mine, but it basically it's like I get a heavy machine gun and a shotgun and grenades. Okay, we got a few people coming in here. Alright. Okay, we're splitting off into teams. Should be going in, I would think, pretty quick. Okay, what am I red this time? Alright, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna play some team deathmatch. Hopefully the mic stuff team isn't enabled. Okay, so I want Okay. We got blue guys here. I'm gonna be terrible at this, I know it. I don't know these maps at all. First blood. Okay, follow our buddy here. Get some power-ups. Okay, what do we got here? Oh! And when I started this, I had to up the mouse sensitivity a lot because it was really bad. 
really, really low. Um, I don't know this level at all, you guys. I've, I've played it briefly once before. Let's get my shotgun out. I like the shotgun. Oh. Wow, okay, I got wrecked. <laughs> I'll be lucky to get a kill. Vital signs activated. Gain the lead. Okay, one well, of our teams ahead. That's good. And I do have jump and I have double jump, so that's cool. Now pretty soon we're also going to get a revenant spawn and you you or your uh, your opponent can one of your guys can turn oh god into the revenant and just wreck stuff. Okay, um... Uh-oh. How do I shoot grenades? I don't even know how to shoot grenades. Ah. I was trying to figure out how to use my perks and my grenade. Alright, let's do this. Nice. Oh god. Fuck. Man, I didn't even have time. Like I said, that's what it's, that's the, what I mean. Literally, by the time I learned that that guy was an enemy, dead. Dead. Oh, quad. So it's just what it is. Quad damage. If I can shoot somebody, people are. Oh, oh, sorry, bud. Sorry, sorry. I totally did not mean. Oh, we've... Payback, alright. That's good. Ah! Alright, fuck this. Where'd you go? Oh, no, that's my guy. Alright, I gotta defend my buddy here. Okay, well... I didn't die. I mean, I didn't really do... Yeah, it's so chaotic. Man, I just... I suck this game. Um, I should have probably, I should have probably just used my other gun when I was fighting that demon, but, oh, I don't know this level at all. Ow! That railgun hurts. You see that red beam of death and you're like, ah, oh, crap, it's on. <laughs> ah! Okay, that's my guy. Um... It's straight up deathmatch, man. It's, uh, like I said, I wouldn't say it's quite as fast as Quake 3, but it's pretty close. And you really gotta know the maps. I'd like to at least get eight. Oh, man. I'd like to get a kill. Let's fall down here. What do we got down here? Some power ups. Oh, here a quad damage somewhere. Not too many people. Module expired. Not too many people seem to come down here. I like being in the corridors basically, just because it's easier for me to pick up on enemies. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll follow my big buddy here. And what we got here? Okay, we got him. Oh, jump up. I'm trying to keep an eye on my... Okay, yeah, we're all kind of huddling around our buddy here. <laughs> okay. Oh, what do we got up here? Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, we can. Okay, you can kind of mantle up things, too. I didn't realize that. I, I didn't know you could... That's cool. Okay. I'm not really... Con oh, God. Ah! Okay, I like that, actually. You, you can kind of save yourself from...
shitty jumps if you if you kind of bail, you can still grab on. Okay, where we go? Oh god. I want to shoot somebody. I should have really just used the rockets. Come on, I fired. All right. plating activated. Let me get some more power ups here. I want to get at least a good kill. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that guy just disintegrated or what. Okay, that's my guy. Oh, that frickin' beam again. Fuck! That guy. I'll just run with this, I guess. Set up my shotgun. I'll probably have more range anyways. I should run around with the rockets. Maybe we'll try to do one more deathmatch. And, and I'll use the rocket loadout. Can I do, okay, I don't want to go down there. You, oh, God! Oh. <sighs> yeah, that was bad. I like the mobility though. You can uh, you can jump around pretty good, especially that double jump does help. Come on, doll, you son of a bitch! Mm. Yeah. Uh oh. Now it was it enemy enemy uh, revenant, I think, right? Oh, hi, how you doing? <laughs> Shit! Oh, that's gonna not be good. Falling off the map, that's excellent. Okay, um... Jump out here. Ah, jump back. Five kills remaining. Oh yeah. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining. I kind of wish the, the announcer was a little bit more like like the Quake 3 announcer, just like, 10 kills for me. You know, he's just a lot more cool sounding. This guy's just like, a lot more robotic in a way, like, almost like a computer AI or something, instead of like, a brutal deathmatch kind of guy. Uh oh. Ow, yeah. Crushing defeat. Sweetness. Yeah, I didn't contribute to that very well at all. So we'll back out of here. And then I'll show you some of the um, actual game stuff here. Okay, yeah. Didn't go very well. Okay, we got a few more perks. A little more toward our level. Uh-huh. All right. Fair enough. I'm going to leave this lobby. All right. So now we're back at the main menu here. So like I said, yeah, that did not go well for me at all. Um, let's go ahead and switch our loadout. Um, let's go the assault. And then we'll use... So basically this one we will have... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, rocket launcher, plasma rifle, <clears throat> and then frag grenade, okay. And, oh, we just, oh, what did we unlock here? Rocket launcher, heavy assault rifle. Ooh. Hmm. Mm hmm. That's you know what we haven't shown. I haven't shown the the. We're still gonna go with this one just because we haven't. I haven't shown you the plasma rifle yet. I don't even know if I've played with the plasma rifle because I haven't played that class. So but that's interesting. Okay. Oh, and we can do plasma rifle. Okay. I, ideally, I would like the shotgun and the rocket launcher would be probably my combo. But hey, that might be this one here. I don't know. Um, 
So that's your loadout. Um, and then you have these mods, basically. So these are, think about, I have mixed feelings on this because like ever since Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I think is about when it started, it seems like every shooter now, they have to shoehorn in some sort of progression system. You know, whether it's like you get weapon upgrades, new weapons, perks, um, whatever. And I totally get why they do it. They want to give their game legs. It's like, oh, you're always working towards something. And I, I get that. Um, <clears throat> but the reason I have mixed feelings on it is because Doom has always been about... Like, the original Doom 1 and 2, and, well, Doom 3 was kind of its own <laughs> thing. But basically, Doom... You started with a weapon... Um, you'll Doom or Quake, you can start with, like, your, basically your pistol, or your, like, in Quake's case, your crappy, uh, machine gun or whatever. And all the weapons were scattered out in key areas of the map, and it was really about, those games were about knowing your playstyle, knowing the map, and basically going for whatever weapon and power-ups you wanted. So you didn't have quad damage in Doom, but they, so... In, uh, in the original Doom, but this one, Doom 2016, you know, obviously they pulled some stuff in from Quake, um, like the quad damage, um, you have the Revenant power-up that spawns every so often, and then you get, like, this whole progression system that comes from most of today's sh uh, first-person shooters. So, it's trying to modernize it, and, like I said, that's a good thing, in a way, but I kind of hope there's, and with the snap map and all that kind of stuff that's in the final game, I do hope that there's a way to make a traditional um, deathmatch mode where it's all about, maybe you can choose your starting weapon like you can in Fear, but, you know, essentially it's about, you know, knowing and controlling the map and just shooting everybody. Just really old school arena style deathmatch. Like, where you don't necessarily have to worry about progression. Because what happens is, you know, you have people, you know, especially like adults who have a life or a family or a job or all of the above. You know, granted, I don't, I, you know, I have a job, so I don't play games near as much as I used to. And when I get home during the week, I, often don't play just because I don't really feel like staring at a screen. So, you know, with the, this progression system that mo most games have, you have to really dedicate yourself to playing regularly before you, um, you know, so you can actually keep up with everybody because otherwise everyone's going to be over-leveled, people are going to have new mods or new um, weapons that you don't have, and you're just going to get crushed even more uh, on top of just the overall skill that it takes. So right now there's a couple of perks that I could choose. I'm not worried about this too much. Um, basically the one I have chosen, I, I get bonus XP for a kill, although I haven't really been wrecking at many kills, so that's uh, that. But, um, you know, I'm not worried about the leveling or the customization because this is a beta and it's only live for this weekend, so more than likely, we're going to start from square one on May 13th when the game comes out. So it really doesn't matter to me. I'm just getting a feel for the game and showing you guys um, it Doom in early form. And then customization. This is like your armor customization, your weapon customization. Now, all of this is cosmetic. So I can change like what, you know, you can unlock different armor plates and styles and things like that. Um, I can change all of this stuff, and again, I don't care in the in the beta. I don't care about unlocks and making my guy look really cool because <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do it in the final game again anyway. Weapons, same thing. Um, I can choose a different weapon, and I can, haha, yeah, that looks cool. Um, but I can, you know, customize the way I want it to look, and again. I might do that if I get into the final game. I mean, I really hope... I would love to find a mode that I like in the final Doom. Like, I hope they have a straight-up deathmatch. I hope with Snap Map, maybe there will be some really cool, like, retro maps or just really fun maps in general. See what other maps they include in the, you know, the developers create. But, um... 
I want to get into another game like Quake 3. I played the hell out of Quake 3 Arena back in the day. Uh, fear. Um, if you've seen my Fear videos, I did a single player and a multiplayer video for Fear. And those games were fun as hell. Um, so, let's go, let's try one more match. And we're going to see if we can load another deathmatch one. I could show you the... Um, I, I just, I suck horribly at the warpath, so we're not even going to try that right now. Load out, and we're just going to make sure that one is checked. And we'll wait for some people here. So yeah, like I said, I get why they have to change the formula. You, you can't release a game exactly the way it was in 1991-92. But at the same time, like, I, I don't really want I just want a fun frantic arena shooter I don't necessarily want to have to worry about perks and lo loadouts and the loadout thing actually doesn't bother me as much because like I said fear let you do that too and I was just chose my shotgun because that's what I usually like to roll with um, but I'm not certain how I feel about the leveling and the perks and all that kind of stuff. The demon spawns, I guess there's going to be more in the final game. Right now we only have the revenant that we can spawn, but there's going to be other demons that you can... Uh, I don't know if it's map specific or you can choose which ones you want to spawn. I suppose all of that would be vary on the mode and the... Um, the mode and the map and you know, whether it's a custom game or if they have certain modes that use specific demons. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're not really getting anybody to join. I might have to do Warpath. Um, I'll give it a couple minutes more here, or a little bit more here. See if we can't join in. We're not even getting a partial group here. I know people, at least a lot of modern gamers, they, they really don't like just straight up deathmatch. They like, see, at least from my what I'm what I experience, they seem to like more of like objective gameplay. And in some ways, I like that. Like in chivalry, I actually kind of like that because it was more melee focused, um, and I could do a little bit better. Um, but like I said, team stuff is just, it's always been harder for me, mainly due to getting killed so quickly, and then on top of that, having to really, really very fast figure out who is your enemy and who's your friend. And some games, you know, do it differently where your friends have icons over their, or little words over their heads, their names, and enemies don't, or things like that. So it looks like we're not... Nobody's joining. I guess we'll try Warpath, and I'm just going to suck horribly. Um, so let's do Warpath, I guess. Load out. Make sure that's checked. Okay. Oh, jeez, yeah, that was fast. This is definitely the more popular mode. <clears throat> So we'll wait for... There we go. Hope we get the other... Because I think there's two maps. There should be two maps, and I'd like to see the other map. Um, i like to see... And again, these are like more hellscapes, which are cool. But I want to see more of like the UAC kind of, you know, like the industrial complex stuff. All right. Three, two, one. Secure and defend the zone. Okay, this is definitely a different map that I have no. Zone. Oh, okay. First blood. I, I have no freaking clue what this map is like. All right, that's cool. Okay, I've got a rocket. I don't want to sh. Yeah. See, there's so much stuff going around. I don't want to shoot my teammates. 
Ow! Or I could just completely annihilate it like that. Supply timer activated. Let's see what this gun is like. Okay. Kind of reminds me of... It looks like you don't have to reload either. Which is nice. I like the double jump. People seem to like up top. Okay, I like that I have no freaking clue. Uh oh. Zone lost. Okay, where did my that did he die or did he, he just fall? I already like this map a little better just because it Capturing zone. it's a little more secured zone. Okay. Cool. It I don't know, there's like paths and stairs. Like the other one's a lot more abstract, I guess. Like this stuff is Oh, I think I killed myself. Damn it, I was too close to the guy. That was a boneheaded. I'm kind of just doing sightseeing, I guess, right now. I mean, I want to do well, but... Oh, God. Um, okay, that's our re Okay, that's our revenant, so we're gonna... We're gonna buddy up with him. And we'll hopefully def defend him. Where the hell is the zone? We Oh, God. Oh! And I get clipped. Okay. Somebody a quad. Man. Yeah, I'm not contributing at all. Uh, basically, this is just a, yeah, this will be like a sightseeing tour of of the maps. Um, uh, sure, let's go this way. Got some buddies over here. There's so oh geez. There's some chaos going on over here. Thought there was another enemy over here somewhere. Okay, where is our oh oh geez. See, I was gonna shoot him and then boom, literally the, t the right when I pulled the trigger. Dead. Zone lost. Yeah. Where is see where is the zone? Secure zone? Okay, that's good. Oh. Let's hold on to it here. So we're just trying to rack up points. Oh, no! God dang it, I turned... Oh. You die in a nanosecond in this game. Frick. I was gonna defend that side, too. Man, yeah, I'm just... I don't even think I got a kill. Oh, that's where the Revenant spawns, I think. Right there, if I had to guess? I'm guessing either that's either the Revenant or the quad damage spawn. Losing zone. Okay. Let's go to my gun again. Oh. Ma man! Yeah, see, these guys are already so good. Uh, literally, the time that I spotted him, I was, like, insta-dead. So this is kind of the problem. Like, I just want to be able to shoot anything. Ah! It's gonna switch to my rocket. Capturing zone. Secure zone. I don't wanna hurt my buddies here. So I'm not gonna explode. Halfway to victory. Halfway to victory, okay. Oh, that's interesting to know. Oh, I don't wanna go down. Ouch! Oh, dude, I just got jacked. I got meleeed. That's a humiliation. All right, screw it. Let's give the rockets. Uh, Demon possession. It'd help if I knew the level, which I totally don't. Losing zone. Ten points 
remaining. All right. Hey, I'm actually helping defend. Yay! <laughs> oh god! Ow! Score limit reached. Oh yeah, I think we got this. Convincing victory. Yeah. Okay. Well, even though I didn't really contribute all that much, um, <laughs> uh, our team won, which is good, I suppose. Well, you got to see both maps. Uh, you got to see me fail epically at both maps. Um, but again, slightly in my defense, I don't. I like I said, I don't know either one of them. And to me, really, like, ooh, what is? Oh, okay, is that a new shotgun skin? So I got a whole bunch of crap. Holy... Okay. All kinds... Of, oh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. So let's leave this lobby for now. Um, I think that's all we're going to play for the Doom... Um, the Doom open beta. But like I said, at least you got to see both maps. Um, I know I didn't really contribute. I know I just instantly died... 95% of the time, but at least you get to see the revenants, see the maps, um, you know, at least kind of see how some of the mechanics work, um, the leveling and all that. I will definitely be coming back to this game when it's released in May. Uh, like I said, I am most interested in the single player, but I will definitely be looking into the multiplayer um because obviously we're going to have all the modes available. I'm sure, like every game, I don't know how popular it, it's going to be because like I said earlier in the video, uh, people seem to like more objective-based modes. But, um, you know, hopefully some classic deathmatch community can pop up behind this. And hopefully that the maps and everything will be fun. I'm very, very curious about the whole snap map concept where if you're unfamiliar, I know I mentioned it earlier in the video but I didn't explain it and I apologize, um, snap map is actually uh, kind of like a, it's not just a level editor but it almost seems like a game mode editor within the game. So like instead of having to code and do all kinds of crazy stuff to build a level, um, it sounds like you're going to be able to not only create maps but basically create your own modes and um, so like you could have a single player you could almost make like your own mini campaigns it sounds like like you could make a single player map you could make co-op maps you could make like a horde mode where you know you're defending against waves of enemies so you could be against you know you or the AI uh, you against the AI you could do of course multiplayer variants like oh you want to do only um, you know, shotguns and grenades, or you know, maybe you want to do, I don't know, whatever combination, maybe you want to change the, da I don't know if you'll be able to change, like, the damage model of a gun, so, like, you can just make, you know, like, one, sh you know, one shot kills or something really weak or powerful, uh, it'll be really interesting to see what they come up with or what the flexibility of Snap Map is, and it'll be interesting to see if it'll be something that I am interested in creating, like, if I could create a fun, you know, straight up deathmatch level and get Jawbreaker to play or play with other people online, that would be cool. Um, because, like I said, it's been a long time since I found a first person shooter that's really clicked for me, especially in multiplayer. Um,. You know, I, I played, ha like I said in other videos, I've played the original Half-Life. That was fun for a while. Quake 3 I played for quite some time. Um, Fear, I love that game. Like, the multiplayer on that was really fun. Since then, like, you know, Halo and things like that, just I, Call of Duty, it just hasn't really clicked with me. I'm not really into the more, I don't want to say realistic, but like, um, I like the more arena, arcade style, you know, I'll, I'll say militaristic, you know, military style shooters. I'm not as much into those as other people are. I should give Call of Duty a chance, but like I said, all those games have leveling, and that's the problem that I foresee with Doom, is if I don't keep up with it, like, if, even if I wanted to try Call of Duty, I feel like I can't. 
because at this point we're like, what, eight games in since Modern Warfare? I can't even count how many. I mean, it's been annual since like 06. So, you know, eight, ten years of games that have kind of built on different things. Yes, they've been different a little bit here and there, but like if you really haven't jumped in and now you're like, hey, I'm going to play some Call of Duty. Uh, no, you're probably not because you're just going to get your ass murdered. So, yeah. Um, I would I would love to find another game, um, first-person shooter, to get hooked on again. It's been far overdue in my opinion. So that's a look at the Doom open beta. I apologize again for my really horrid performance, but at least it gives you an idea of the look and feel of the game. And uh, yeah, we will look for some more Doom stuff next month when the full game hits. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And again, I will uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.